definite integration where we're looking to find the area between a curve and a line. Um, so there's going to be a few steps to this particular one. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the limits. And for this particular one, you can see the area is bounded between this point here and this point here. Now these two points on the x-axis look obvious from the diagram, but uh, in general we should be able to find them, uh, the points where the lines cross. So in order to do that, to find the points where the lines cross, we're going to just solve the two equations of the lines made equal to each other. And by taking away x from both sides and then taking away 2, we can get this quadratic, which factorizes into x minus 6, x minus 2, giving us the limits of x equals 6 and x equals 2. So what we've done is we've found these two values here, we've got 2, we've got 6. Now, when we integrate, we find the area underneath the curve. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to find this area here if we integrate the blue curve between those limits. Now that is the first step we're going to take and it will give us the bottom area and then we can find the total area and take that away from it. Um, so the next stage is, as I said, to integrate, to find the area underneath the curve. Now to do that we're going to have to integrate from 2 to 6 and we're integrating the blue curve so this particular one here. If we integrate that, and we don't need a plus c on this one because it's a definite integral, it's got limits, and we're going to have the third x cubed, power goes up by 1, divide by the new power, uh, 7 over 2x squared, and 14x. And what we're going to need to do between 2 and 6 is to substitute those values in. Um, if we substitute 6 in, it will give us the area of all this bit here from 6 left to the y-axis. Um, and that's going to involve working all this lot out. Now because I'm restricted to 5 minutes, you may find that I get the answer rather miraculously quickly. But you will obviously have to work at it. Um, that will be the area from 6 left, but we've also got the area of we don't want this bit, so we're going to have to take that bit away, which we get by substituting 2 in to the same thing. And what you find, if you just bear with me two seconds as I finish that off, is you find that that gives you uh, 30, and this bit here, um, if I remember rightly, gives you minus 16 and 2 thirds. So overall we end up with 13 and a third which gives us this red bit here. Now we're looking at finding this bit here so we're going to need to find this whole area. I'll just do that in blue here and that is a trapezium. So we're just going to have to work out the area of trapezium. Um, so if we do that The area of a trapezium is, um, and I'll try to avoid doing so, half the sum of the parallel sides. Now the parallel sides on this occasion are 4 and 8 long. Um, you can get those by just adding on 2 to the two limits because it's y equals x plus 2. So we've got 4 plus 8 and then times that by the height, which is the difference between the limits, which is 4, and that gives us an area of uh, 24 and therefore to work out our area of our shaded bit our final answer is the whole area of the trapezium take away the area of the bit underneath the curve and that gives us an answer of 10 and 2 thirds that's definite integration between two limits where the, the area is enclosed between a line and the curve.